Hey, I'm doing the happy dance. Got a new toy. Welcome to Geek Beat. <laughs> Hey folks, I'm John P. And That's I'm Callie Kelly. Lewis. Uh, we and got this our new toy. Uh, the is Amazon a package from Amazon. Fire TV. All right, so we've got an unboxing and a setup for you today. What? Yes. Are you gonna sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> Be professional. <laughs> Apparently, I'm allergic to uh, the TV, and they're not even gonna cut. They're not even gonna stop no, because this is of, too exciting. Of course not. You can't give me a courtesy stop. No. Okay. All right. So we've got the uh, Amazon Fire TV here in plastic. Go ahead and cut right through that. All right. Okay. Well, you know what? The box is smaller than I thought it would be. I don't know why. Why? I don't know, but for okay. some reason, I thought it was gonna be like more like this big or something but i well, mean doesn't need to be but no. i just thought it was it's actually very nice packaging it's got the uh, raised uh lettering here yeah they did the the metal this embossed. Is embossed as well um they spared no wow. expense okay so we've got the explanation here on the back all right i literally know nothing about this because oh. i don't watch your shows okay. so well um, i don't know anything we're so going to set this is, thing up aren't we yeah this is okay. basically way to rip a, it yeah I way to rip up the their box packaging it's basically a uh replace you know a competitor, competitor for the roku or apple tv bam and again with the nice chromecast packaging. apple tv pull we're going to compare pull them. that out again oh <laughs> Whip it out, she said. So, you will need a knife for this. Although, uh, look, it has a little strip oh, there. That. It looks like it has a strip you can just tear. Oh, that's nice. So you don't need. Ooh, look at wow. that. Wow. That was smooth. I have not seen that before. Flip that and let's get our first look here. Nice. Okay. All right. So. Oh, look, there's a little Amazon print. Oh, yeah, can you see that. it's like uh, shiny? All right. So this is basically Wait, is that it? I just thought, a box. Oh. Yeah, this is it. I literally thought that was a box. No, this is the box. That is the, that is the I Let's keep wanting to say hold. Apple TV. Yeah, I know. That is the Amazon Fire, Fire TV. TV. Let's hold this up to the Apple TV and okay. get a comparison. It is bigger, like I said in the show yesterday. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's more square. Uh, so no rounded edges or anything. It's a basic box. I mean, it's, it's simple. slightly thinner, like okay. just like yeah. millimeters thinner. What do we have uh, as part of ports? Okay, let's, let's see. see. Let's see. Well, first of all, there's a sticker all around the outside edge. So let's get all, let's get that off. I, you know what? I actually like that it's really square. Ah. It's like, I mean, by comparison, I mean, this, it'll this fit is nice. Into it's, your, uh, it's nice, setup but, but I, I don't know. I like those sharp shiny edges is good looking anyway let's compare what do we got here we've got power here uh so now, this is going down this way as opposed to kind of uh, now wait there is end. one thing i notice okay that that i'm going to give it to the apple tv on this that is just a cable that means the, the actual power yeah. stuff is built in that looks like something requiring a brick yeah it does look there's like a it. yeah I, here we go so this is the brick well that's not a bad looking brick but it is a brick so. nonetheless, where this will use a standard cable. Yep. Any old little, you know, cable like that would plug in. That has to have a power brick. But anyway, okay. So we've got HDMI, just On the both. same here. Uh, optical audio mm -hmm. and Ethernet and USB. So pretty much the same stuff. That one has like that's, a micro USB. Like micro, this is regular USB. But basically, yeah, same connectors. And then we have the remote here. Now, remember... Uh, I like that the remote has more buttons than an Apple remote does. <laughs> right. Uh, so this uh, this remote actually includes, from the very top, voice search. So you what? just hit this button and you can search for your movies and TV shows and stuff no. through the box. Which is one of the things that is setting this apart that's why everybody wants so this thing obviously controls up and down side to side fast forward pause play menu home and back okay while um, you're doing that i'm gonna i'm get, gonna plug it in yeah plug it in okay we've got our little tv here i'm gonna put batteries so gonna, in the remote you put those in i'm gonna plug the uh plug in the fire tv fire Fire. <laughs> okay, so all we're doing is power. I can't get and that, this out. <laughs> and I bet it will work off Wi-Fi, but we're going to go ahead and use Ethernet. So we got Ethernet, and I don't see a power button. Okay, the, the little light, we've got a light on. 
So let's see. What what input do I need to have the TV on? The so TV should be on input things, two. Let me check and make sure we got input two going on here. One of the things that Amazon is touting about this Fire TV box is that it has two gigs of RAM. Now the Apple TV has. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there we go. It's starting up. And it's Searching in 1080p. Okay, it's in hold 1080p. On. Hold on, I'm getting the remote. Uh, the Apple TV and Roku have like you know 256 and 512 megabytes versus the two gigs of RAM that is on here. Huh. The question is, will it make that much of a difference in actually streaming content? Well, so, or just see. the snappiness of the device too, right. right? Give me the trash. Searching for your remote. It's here. Huh. <laughs> We're giving it to you live and unfiltered, folks. This is the way it works. Let me see. Did you put the battery in right? Yes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, is there a manual? Oh, there we go. It's oh. got it. Oh, press play or pause to start. I'll come over here so you can see a little better. Okay, press play, pause to start. Wait, is it directional? Downloading the, the latest software. Downloading software. Okay, I didn't notice. Is this like a, a oh, I'm assuming that it's infrared, like a, you know, yeah. one thing that I really like about the Rokus is the Roku remote is like RF. You can right. it put it behind your back you and are. hit a button and it works. Yeah. Where the Apple TV is incredibly directional. Like at our house, if you're sitting over on one far edge of the sofa, you can't work the Apple TV. Right because of the way we have it kind of hidden. It exactly. just won't work. So I wonder if this is more or less uh, we'll directional. We'll answer that yeah. when we put it to the test. So it's downloading, but it looks like this could a take while. a minute. So we will pause. We'll give you the magical fast motion. Post-production. Oh wait, the download seems slower than normal. Please check your internet what? connection. You did an ethernet, right? That is ethernet cable, baby. Maybe it's slower than normal because everybody's plugging them in and downloading them. Probably. But you'd think that they're downloading off S3 or something. Dave Peterson, stop doing it. Right. Anyway, <laughs> pause. We'll be right back when it makes some progress. <laughs> it's Wayne's World. So time anyway, there's been a bunch of time passed. Uh, I think their Not servers a bunch of are. Time. Oh, I think their servers are hit, being hit hard yeah, today. We checked our network, and we have plenty. I mean, yeah. it's it's downloading. It's it's using up all our bandwidth, but it's downloading pretty quickly. So. A few minutes later, now yeah. we have installing the latest software. Hey, so that's going pretty quick. That is going actually. Pretty quick. It was just right here a minute ago, yeah. and then it went bloop. And so I, I think it heard your hmm. and was like, uh, let me get through this so he doesn't do that again. Oh. All right, here we go. Wow. Where's now, the remote? It rebooted in 640 by 480 at 60 hertz. Oh, okay. But maybe that's just the setup thing. So here's the remote. By the way, I'd like to point out that the remote has that it's rubberized. That yeah, yep. rubberized. I it love feels good. that. Oh, okay. <laughs> feels so good. It's all right. Calm okay. Down. Okay. Oh, installing latest right, software. Installing Continuing. latest software. By the way, don't unplug the power cable during the update. Well, you never want to do that. Well, sometimes I want to do that when it's going <laughs> slow or doing something stupid. That is funny though, installing the latest update and maybe This is this is like how Apple, you know, uh, tries oh, to predict how wait, many shh, shh. So we're going to take a quick tour together that will teach you all about your Fire TV. Fire TV lets you stream a huge amount of entertainment, and the Amazon Fire TV remote lets you access it all. With voice search, you can access the entertainment you love with just this remote and the sound of your voice. It's really pretty cool. Let's get started. Just press and hold this button at the top of the remote, wait for the prompt on screen, wait. and say what you want to watch after the tone. Life of Pi. Your choice shows up instantly. We take your voice information and process it in the cloud to deliver better, quicker search results and to help improve your experience. Use your voice to find movies, TV shows, actors, directors, film categories, even games and apps. No need to say commands like search or play. Just press and hold the voice search button. Say the name and Fire TV will give you the results you're looking for. I like that. I wonder if it searches through just Amazon content no, or they were all showing, content. No, they were showing Netflix. Netflix. And the Fire TV remote is simple to use. The home button takes you to your Fire TV's home screen at any time. And press the back button 
to return to the previous screen. Press here to navigate up or down, left or right. Press the center button to select. With Fire TV, you can watch hundreds of thousands of movies and TV shows, access exclusive titles, play games, and even listen to music. Fire TV even makes recommendations for other movies and TV episodes Django. you might enjoy. Oh, that's a good movie. You can add them and any movie or TV Dread, show. Dread, Expendables, I like all those. List and access it on the home screen. Just click right here. If you're an Amazon Prime member, in addition to the shipping benefits and the Kindle Owner's Lending Library, you get unlimited access to 40,000 movies and TV shows, all at no extra cost. I hope they made that real Prime easy to find, because I am no Prime. Right. right after this oh, video, it's Amazon. Of course they're going to make it easy to find. It's, but in so the app, it's not as easy as you would Next expect. Up, gaming. With no. With Fire TV, you can play some really fun games. Really? You can use the directional buttons on your remote, <gasps> or you can use the Amazon Fire Game Controller. We need to get one of those. Right. If you have a Kindle Fire HDX tablet, you can start a video on your HDX. This is a lot. It, it is a lot. But it's interesting. Right where you left off. Fling it With to your yep. Fire TV. Drive, yep. You can store your pictures and personal videos in the cloud. Then with your Fire TV, you can access those pictures and videos anytime you want on the big screen. Okay, we've just scratched the surface of what you're going to be able to do. If you want to watch this video again, or need no. more help, <laughs> go settings and click on the help button, and you'll find what you're looking for. Thank you, and enjoy your new Amazon Fire TV. I like that. Uh, I really I, like that little intro I, video. I like that they did that. It's a little too long. No. A little too markety. No, it's only too long because you're worrying that people are being bored by us standing no, here. No, I'm if thinking I was from a home, geek's perspective. So I that, think I wanted, a lot of people... I, I would have watched that whole thing. I well, wanted I already, to hear all that. But I already knew everything that they covered. But so, I didn't, right. so I wanted to hear that. I think if some I people will box, like it, some people won't. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't try and skip through it if... If anybody tries that, let us know uh, you probably in the can. comments. I'm sure you can. Okay, now it's asking about parental controls. Okay, so this is another cool thing about this. I do not want parental controls. Well, we don't, but uh, you can. Um, you can actually uh, set Give time limits oh. and also set user accounts. Uh, I'm going to say no for now. Uh, all right. That was a satisfying click, That was by the a way. satisfying click. You both okay. physically and and audibly. Hey, you know what? This this interface here reminds me of Plex, actually. It does. It has they, this they kind do of thing Plex, here. They have Plex, by the way. Huh? They, they have you... Plex as an app. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's go down to apps real quick. Um, so Showtime, ESPN, uh, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Hulu Plus. Uh, we want to download that. Get that. Going. Why did you skip my Pandora? Well, I, I just realized I, I need to add some stuff oh. as well. So uh, we want to add Netflix. Okay. Uh, where's... They Go said, back. They said they had Plex. Go back. Let's Get see. Pandora. All right. <laughs> so that's just going uh, through... Popular list. Oops. Hold on. That's your app's library. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's... So this is where you'd go and see other, other stuff. Spotlight. Categories. Entertainment. Okay. YouTube. Okay. Yeah, get it. Um, so that's apps. I, they did say they had Plex uh, Wait, in the announcement, that. but I am not seeing that just yet. Although we could try. Oops. You could try voice control. Oh. Try the voice control. Wait, I'm going to try the voice control and see, see if I can watch a movie. But you know, we haven't set up our, we haven't set it up with our login no, yet. But haven't. let's try this. Ford Fairlane. God. Oh, wait. Sorry. Ford Fairlane. Thinking. Yes? Yes, I said Ford Fairlane. It may have gotten screwed up because I said, oh, gosh. Oh, wait. It's giving me TV shows oh. about maybe having a Ford Fairlane. No, I want the movie <laughs> Ford Fairlane. All right. Try something else. Wolverine is something that, that I've seen pictures of. That, that... Wolverine. Yes. Okay. There it is. Wolverine. So that's in the Amazon. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I, I guess, I'm guessing that's Amazon let's content right look, there. Watch trailer. Yeah. Let's see or if this works. Watch list. Hey, have you noticed how snappy it is? Uh, well, I mean, it should is, be. <laughs> that was really fast. Yeah. Like on uh, Apple TV or something, that would have taken a lot longer. Right. So another thing that this does is it uses ASAP. It's advanced streaming something uh which 
it, it guesses, it's intelligently trying to process what you want to watch next, and it'll buffer that ahead of time before you hit the play button so that it will, so you don't have to, you know, have all the buffering, or it'll, it'll start to download it um, so you don't have to buffer. Okay, let's see what these games are here. Yep. Change your nickname. Nice. G Gallant <laughs> Bemused Imp. How did we get a nickname, <laughs> Gallant no Bemused Imp? Uh, that's my, that's my, you know, is that your secret my one? secret one. I like this little doodle guy with a rocket. Why yeah, not? Yeah, he's cute. He's cute. Uh, anyway, so uh, we could go look. through this whole setup, but we'll I guess you guys get the picture, review. right? So uh, that's a, just a look at what different features. I'm, I'm surprised that there wasn't a big Amazon oh, instant let me try something. I gotta video. try something. I'm pointing away from it. Yep. Oh, it still Working. works. It still works. I like that. Awesome. N not Ninety nine bucks. Uh, another. I think it was uh, another forty nine bucks for the uh, game control. I have to look that, that back up. But uh, we will come back to you with a review. Let us know what you're thinking if you bought one or if you're not going to buy one. But we'll 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 test it against the Apple TV and the Roku and see what's what. I can already tell you. I like it. If that voice control thing works, I'm replacing everything. If it does really have the Plex app on it. Right. All right. Okay, guys. Thanks, guys. Thumbs up on YouTube. See if you got them. See you later. Bye.